This is now our second video looking at finding probabilities using the standard normal distribution. In the first question, we're asked to find the probability that Z is greater than 1.25. So let's put a line up here and we'll place it just here. So we want the probability Z is greater than 1.25. That is given as the area to the right of this line. We're interested in this area right here. In the last video, we saw that our tables gave us phi of 1.25. Phi of 1.25 was the area trapped under the curve to the left of 1.25. And it gave us the probability that Z was less than 1.25. So all of this blue area right here can be given as phi of 1.25. So phi of 1.25. In the first video, we learnt that the total area trapped under the curve was equal to 1. Therefore, this area right here must be 1 minus phi of 1.25. So all we need to do is look up in our tables, phi of 1.25, and subtract that away from 1. So where are we? 1.25, which is going to be 0 0.8944. So let's put that in. So what we need to do is 1 minus 0 0.8944. If you want to use a calculator, you're more than welcome to do so. This is going to give us 0 0.1056. So the probability that Z is greater than 1.25 is 0 0.1056. Okay, let's look at the next one. We want now the probability that Z is greater than negative 1.68. The way in which you look at these is entirely up to you. You might want to use the symmetric properties of a curve. You might want to just wrote, learn how to do it. Or another way that you might want to look at it now, if we put this up, negative 1.68. I want the area now trapped under the curve to the right of this line. The way I like to view these is taking a trip around the other side of the curve. So if we were actually around the other side now, what would we see? So if I took a walk around there, what am I going to see? I'm going to see a normal distribution, so I'll have my standard normal, and I will have the curve. I will see this point, and instead of being negative 1.68, it will be 1.68. I will see the shaded area is that trapped under the curve to the left of the line, or the greater area. We know that this area is given as phi of 1.68. 0.68 and that will give us a probability that Z is less than 1.68. This is exactly the same area that we're looking for. So all we need to do is look up phi of 1.68. So phi of 1.68 will give us a probability that Z is greater than a negative 1.68. So let's look in our table. Where's 1.68? Uh, there we go. So 9535. So we can now write that this is going to be 0 0.9535. If you would prefer to look at it differently, please do. I'm not trying to influence the way you do these. I'm just giving you alternatives. Um, I think that, that, sounds, yeah, that sounds right. I suppose I am influencing you, but you don't have to use it if you feel that your method is better. Okay, let's go for the next one. The probability that Z is less than negative 1%. 0.52. So let's get up negative 1.52 and we'll place it just here. So this time what we want is the following. So this is going to be negative 1.52. So I'm interested now in this area right here. The way again I like to look at it, and you might you might just want to flip the thing around. I think to myself, if I went round the other side, what would I see? And the answer is the normal curve, and what we'd have now is the following. We would have this at positive, and this would be positive 1.52, and it would be the smaller area to the right. I know that the area to the left is going to give me now phi of 1.52. Okay, or the other way around. Phi of 1.52 will give me the area. Therefore, the probability of Z being less than 1.52. We're interested in this part right here. So all we're going to do then is 1 minus phi of 1.52. And that will give us the answer. And that will tell us the probability that Z is less than negative 1.52. So let's grab up a table. Where's 1.52? Uh, 1.52 is there, so 9357. 
So what we need to do then is 1 minus 0 0.9, what is it, 9357 or 95, let's just check that, I often forget, uh, 9357, so 9357. So what's that going to give us in total then? 0 0.0643. So the probability now that Z is less than negative 1.52 is 0 0.0643. Okay, uh, last one. Nice straightforward one to finish off with. The probability of Z being less than 3.15. So let's put that there, and this is going to be pretty high. Okay, so we're looking at a pretty, pretty, uh, hopefully that looks straight. We're interested now in the area to the left of the curve, so what uh, to the left of the line under the curve, I should say, and that's this area right here. So all we need to do is look up phi of 3.15 in the table. So there's 3.15, so we're just interested now in phi of 3.15, which is going to be pretty, pretty big. And where are we? Uh, there we go, 3.15. So we've got treble 92. So let's write that up. So the probability is going to be equal to 0 0.9992. Okay, so there we go. Some nice straightforward examples to build on the last video. In the next video, we'll look at some trickier ones to deal with, but hopefully that's been of some use. As stated, you certainly don't have to use the idea that I'm using. Use your own if you want to go purely on symmetry or you want to look at it, but you're around the other side, you're welcome to do so.